Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to share what I do to amplify my health. Yes, a lot of you guys have seen my YouTube shorts where I have over 100,000 views of me working out and getting after it in the gym every day. So, I wanted to show what I do in the gym, what I eat, and any supplements I may be taking that might benefit you guys. Because at the end of the day, not everything everybody takes will work for you. Like not everything your favorite YouTuber or bodybuilder or athlete take will work for me. And I am five foot three, 140 pounds. So let's get into today's video. Before I get my day started, I like to drink at least one to two cups of water before I start my day. So one of these, which is a 16 ounce bottle of water, which is two cups and they say you should be drinking at least one gallon of water a day typically i try to drink one of these a day which is 64 fluid ounces which is a half a gallon and if you drink one of these and or one of these to start your day you're going to be really hydrated so when you wake up you want to grab a 16 ounce bottle of water because your body is pretty dehydrated from no water for over nine hours and typically guys what I like to drink for my caffeine boost which is the Jocko uh, orange flavor I think it has a really good flavor uh, for what it is you focus energy and supports memory um, it is uh, keto friendly and sugar free it does have their own version of uh, sweetener in there it has, if I'm not mistaken, 95 milligrams of caffeine. And every time I've drank one of these, I've never felt that weird crash. It has 10 calories. So it doesn't have that like bang energy or that monster crash. Because I know a lot of people who drink monsters or Red Bull or other uh, energy drinks, they get that weird crash after a couple of hours. They drink it and then they just feel lethargic and feel like they have no energy. That doesn't give you that feeling. It's more on the, uh, I would consider it on the healthier options for um, energy drinks. You can get them at GMC if you're in uh, the south or in the north. You can get them at Wawa gas stations. Those are the only places I've ever seen them besides Amazon and other things. And I do think Jocko Welling is a really healthy dude, so he wouldn't be putting out a uh, garbage uh, product. Time to get it in. We're gonna start with some stretches before we get into the workout. You always have to do stretches because you can injure yourself without stretching your body and warming yourself up, just like you warm your car up or your motorcycle. And here's what I'm going to do today, which is a back exercise day. So the reason I drink like a Bang Energy, usually typically I do the Jocko Go Energy, but I only do it because it gives me an energy boost like a pre-workout would in the gym. I'm not drinking it just to drink it. I don't drink it if I'm not working out. So we're about to walk into uh, GNC, General Nutrition Center. 
don't just go in there and buy anything don't just go in there and get a protein powder or go get a muscle builder or think whatever on the shelf is good for you because there's actually stuff in there that's not necessarily the best for you do your research before you just go in there and get stuff because you don't know what you're going to get if you're just some noob off the street you, it might be beneficial for you it might not but remember everything in this store might not be good for you don't just think because you're taking creatine or protein powders you're going to get shredded and ripped it takes a lot of dedication a lot of hard work to get into the gym take supplements take vitamins and do the things you need to do to better your life So this is my typical breakfast, some olive oil in the pan, some onions, mushrooms, and some banana peppers. You mix it all together till they're sauteed. I like to add about three eggs to get that protein with a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's pretty much how you make a healthy uh, breakfast. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not a big supplement guy. I don't sit here and uh, promote, I'll take all the supplements and get ripped. Which is the emergency vitamin C gummies, immune support with 750 milligrams of vitamin C, which is really good for you. Just look like any old like gummy bear or anything like that and they have a really uh, orange flavor to them. Last but not least, is the Shroom Tech Sport, which is something you would take if you're not drinking a caffeine drink coffee energy drink it's a um kind of like an energy supplement for pre-workout you could use it for like your construction work job or something that you need energy throughout the day and no this is not a sponsor but uh it's the joe rogan um company which is on it and like i said it tells you to take four tablets without eating anything so you would take it 45 minutes before you're about to go do your workout I've only taken two supplements off of this only two of the uh, capsules that is how much they recommend you take I've only taken two capsules so far since I've had the product did I see a difference in my level of energy absolutely I took it 45 minutes before my workout and I didn't take a bang energy or a Jocko go energy which I typically work out with because it gives me that caffeine boost throughout the day this actually gave me a boost without the crash but you can get these at Walmart you can get them at uh, on it.com Amazon anywhere that they sell supplements I'm assuming you can get them at but I got mine at Walmart for like $29 or I would say something like that but any supplements that you guys do decide to take I would recommend you speaking to a doctor or a dietitian or a nutritionist because you don't know what you're always taking so before you run out and take these actually go and do some research like i said there's nothing wrong if you went out of your way just by yourself to go get some vitamin c gummies that's okay but something like this uh omega-3 fatty acids like uh fish oil those are things that you actually need that are really beneficial for you so um i'm going to be looking into taking ag1 which is athletic greens it has 75 uh vitamins and whole uh, whole foods and it's basically a drink that you're gonna get 75 vitamins nutrients and other things and it's not a sponsor it's just something i've been seeing all over and i'm like i want to increase my health and better my life i'm gonna be 39 this year so taking things like this actually i've seen benefits from it when i used to take nothing i used to have that weird in the middle of the day crash because my body would get tired but with these things it feels like I'm getting a little bit more energy a little bit more of a boost and that's why I'm trying for more of a healthier option of caffeine in the in the morning or when I work out instead of just getting a monster that has that crash the Jocko ones don't the Kill Cliff they don't really have that uh, crash either at least from my experience but like I said that's what I do typically for my breakfast for my day and then after my workout I will do something like this, which is 
Epsom salt because I don't have like an ice bath. You could also take a cold shower because people like Andrew Humerman, I've seen Jesse Wellens, I've seen uh, Joe Rogan all talk about ice bath and the benefits of a sauna. Uh, Joe Rogan talks about the benefits of Epsom salt. You put it in your bathtub, you relax. I believe it works, but for a lot of people, they might say, eh, it doesn't. But for me, you can buy these products at Walmart. And that is just how I have benefited my life in the last year and actually lifting more weight, uh, drinking protein shakes. I dr uh, drink the Jocko Milk one and I drink uh, Pure, what was it called? Pure Protein, I think the brand was called. But actually increasing my protein, even my girl actually admitted, she goes, your arms are getting bigger, you're getting stronger. Look at that, no steroids, never took one in my life, no muscle builders, no creatine, just consistently worked his ass off in the gym from 2015 till now. And ever since they reopened society after C19, I've never missed a day in the gym. I go every single day, seven days a week. The only time I take days off, if, if it's family issues, job, I have to go to work. Other than that, I'm in the gym kicking ass and working out as hard as I possibly can. I can now deadlift 200 and 45 pounds. I'm not trying to be the most shredded rip dude. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm trying to benefit my health and my life. And I thought I would give you guys some tips on what an average dude does. Not somebody who is hardcore shredded or somebody who's like, yeah, I take creatine or I take this crap or I eat this stuff. No, I'm telling you exactly what I do. So maybe you guys can do the same thing. All it really takes is starting out with a good diet in the morning, drinking some water, and getting after it. That's all it is. But remember to always get vitamin D, which is sunlight, and always take some supplements. That will benefit your life tremendously. But like I said, the athletic green thing is what I really want to do. We will see you guys soon.